Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I'm your host. And like always, my job as the auntie is to keep everybody informed with the trends. Y'all murking, aka coochie wigs, are making a comeback. If you checked your email yesterday, you should have got an email from me and it was talking about how the Kucha wigs, AKA Merkin, they, they come back. I'm talking about industries are all of a sudden infatuated with pubic hair. Like this is crazy. But you know, forever, the porn industry has made us feel like we're supposed to shave, which is fine because I'm one of those people who don't like all that hair. So that's fine. But um, what I'm learning is um, a lot of people are becoming very creative with their pubic hair, like literally styling it and all kinds of stuff like that. So first of all, let me just start off by saying Merkin is not anything that is new. Merkin has been around since 1450. Um, sex workers used to wear Merkin years ago. If you, if you got your blog, then you got the history of it. Um, a lot of times uh, people had diseases and stuff like that. And um, they was all tore up down there. So what they would do is wear the Merkin to cover up any signs that they had diseases such as syphilis and some of the other stuff that they had back then. Okay, fine. Um, years down the line, you started seeing the drag queens start getting off into the Merkin. You say, well, why would the drag queens get off into the Merkin? It's because they can tuck and then put the Merkin over it and it, it gives the appearance of an actual female vagina. So then you had the, the drag queens that got off into the Merkin. Okay. Then Hollywood started getting off into the Merkin. You say, well, why? Because in certain people contracts, it says that it can't be any skin to skin or any type of uh, touching of the genitalia. So basically they wore the Merkin as a covering. These are vaginal wigs. They wore the Merkin as a covering, okay? So then you had that, right? Now the fetish community has gotten off into the Merkin and you got the people that are warriors who like to watch and all of this kind of stuff. Um, we got uh, fashion, uh, New York Fashion Week into it. They putting bedazzles and stuff all over the Merkin. So coochie wigs are making a comeback. The same way women are getting wigs for their head, they are now getting wigs for the coochie. So don't say that you didn't hear about the trend because you heard it here first. Merkin is making a major, major, major comeback. Major comeback, okay? So we got these... Um, what I like to call it, the little hippie generation. Okay, we got them. And they basically saying, we not subscribing to the, the standards of shaving body hair. So they not only not shaving under their arms, they not shaving their pubes, and now they are actually starting to style the pubes. I'm like, okay, this, this, is, this is a lot. But again, you heard it here first. Merkin is making a major comeback. My coochie wigs come in today. I'm going to let you know how it goes. I'm going to let you know if it's tacky to where it comes off the skin easy. I'm going to give y'all a whole rundown on the coochie wig. I ordered two. I ordered a pink one and I ordered a black one. I'm going to let you know how it work out because I got some creative ideas. I want to bedazzle one of them. I just want to see because let me tell you something. You know your auntie got to keep up with the trends. You know, I, I have to I have to be in the know because sometimes you don't know until you know, okay? So, again, you heard it here first. For those of you all that are like me, who would much rather not have the hair, I just want to make sure that you know that we do have coochie here at the PPG store in stock. This is a rash-free shaving cream. We have the one that has absolutely no fragrance or anything. And then we have this one here that is Peachy King, okay? So we have that. And then once you have shaved, then you follow up with the protection mist, okay? All of this is on the website, all right? If you have not subscribed to my email blast to get blogs, you need to subscribe. The email address is, I'm sorry, the website is 
www.thepppgstore.com. That's where you subscribe at. That's where, uh, people say, what a challenge is it? What education is it? Yes, it's in the group, but you know, y'all ass is messy. Y'all don't want to talk about nothing but bullshit. So when bullshit is on the scene, y'all all over it like flies on shit. But when it comes down to the education part, a lot of y'all pass that up. So what I do is I email it to you too to make sure that you got it. You know how somebody say, well, I'm going to tell it to you and you might not listen, but I'm going to send it in another format. That way I know that you got it. So if you have subscribed to my email list, you getting all the information. You just got to open it up and check it, okay? Because your auntie talking to you. All you got to, it says Auntie Sharonda Parker. That's how you're going to know it's me. Let me see what we got. All I seen was coochie wig. Yes, baby. Keisha. Let me tell you, girl, you in the hair industry. But let me tell you, girl, look, don't be surprised when your customers be talking about, girl, I need a pink wig to match my other wig. I'm telling you, that's how it's about to go down. You know people jumps all over trends. And then you got these, pe these men with fetishes. And a lot of times when you're dealing with men with fetishes, a lot of times that's attached to certain uh, men with certain finances and all of this kind of stuff. So y'all get to holler about some. I ain't wearing no coochie wig. I ain't wearing no coochie wig. Let, let one come along with the right type of money. Your ass gonna be hunting me down to order your coochie wig because you know that's what he into. So <coughs> let me go over my notes. All right. Um, we got pubic hairstyles. We talked about that. All right. Um, of course, we know that the Brazilian waxes became popular with porn. We know that. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm uh, covering all my bases. We know the drag queens. They were the first ones to kind of bring the merkin back to be able to hide when they took. We know that. New York Fashion Week, they got on the trend because they like to put bedazzles and jewels all over the merkin. They want to decorate it. You know, that's the fashion industry. They want to... They, they don't want to put the, the stones and all this stuff on your actual pubic hair so they get the murk in to be able to decorate it. Okay, cool. Then we got the film industry, Hollywood. They got the people with contracts that say, my genitals can't touch somebody else's genitals. So then it, they decided to get on the murk and bandwagon. And now we got the fetish community who back on the bandwagon with the murk. And so, like I said, don't say that you didn't know about it. Don't be surprised if you're dealing with somebody and you know they bad, then you know some of these men be talking, I don't want no pedophile coochie, no pedophile pussy. I want to see some hair. If that's his desire for some hair, then you know that you can go and get you a merkin to put on. Okay? All right. I think that is going to be about it for me today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe again this week. We we talking about merkin, baby, all week long. Um, If you on the, if you in the group, I want you to click on, uh, tell me which pubic hair design you like best. I know y'all seen the one with the side part. I know y'all seen the one with the side part. They actually got a coochie hair design with a side part. It's in the, the picture in the group. So make sure you go check that out, okay? And I'm gonna let y'all know how it works out with this Merkin. I'm gonna let you know if it's tacky. I'm gonna let you know if it's easy to put on, remove. I'm gonna give you the lowdown on the Merkin. You all be blessed. You all enjoy the rest of your day.